Hello, thank you for joining me for this new and exciting unboxing and review of the Shengshou Crazy Magic Tower. Let's get started. So I just got this one in the mail uh, a day ago. And uh, it says Shengshou. It's the same company, Shengshou. So it's the Crazy Magic Tower. Uh, and I'll show you on the receipt here if you can see it, okay? Yeah, it's the Shengshou Crazy Magic Tower version 2, V2. So this is the new one. It just came out uh, maybe within the last week or two weeks. And I just got it. I wanted to get it because... Uh, yeah, I really like <clears throat> I really like these type of puzzles. It's not too they, these are not too hard. Um, <clears throat> so let's get started. So I wanted to show you that um, I have the version one. This is the crazy the Shangshao Crazy Magic Tower version one. This one right here, and on this one, the difference is on this one. Uh, you know, it turns like this, you know, like every side, sorry about that. <clears throat> every side turns like that, like that. And it's like a paraminx too. It's, it, I did, uh, tutorials on this one, the version one. The difference is on version two, uh, it has these extra little pieces here on the outers, you know, all the way around these little outer edge things. <clears throat> Where on this one, it's an empty space, like a little hole. So, but on this one, it's no big deal. Like that doesn't really make it harder. It just, that's how it is. So, but uh, yeah, both of them are great. If you ever get a chance, you know, this is version one or version two, whatever. Um, yeah, really great puzzles. So I do want to do a little review on this unboxing to show you uh, this uh, Magic Tower or Paraminx. Yeah, it also moves really nice too. It's very smooth. It's got a really nice feel to it. Like it's very smooth, but a good grip. Yeah, it's not slippery. And uh, it's a little bit, it's got good weight to it. It's not heavy, but it's got a solid weight. And the colors are really nice too. It's like a brighter blue, bright green, red, and yellow. So I really like the colors on this too. It's really nice. Um, yeah, I'll just mix it up a little bit for you to see what it looks like mixed up. Now, just so you know, these centers here, they don't turn like this. You, you might think they do, but they actually don't. Um, it turns like a regular paraminx, but it's got a different kind of solve to it. You know, something like that. So as you solve it, like here, this side turns, but over here, yeah, this side turns too. But sometimes when you turn it, it doesn't always rotate like this all the time. As you keep solving it, it doesn't always rotate. But, yeah, it moves really good. It's uh, this is a really fun solve. I've already solved this maybe uh, about three or four times. Yeah, it's pretty easy. I'm going to – later today, I'm going to do uh, – little tips tutorial on it and I'm going to do some other uh, tips tutorials on this throughout the weekend so just so you know how to solve it if you happen to get this one um, you know give it a try if you want to try it out um, the center caps pop too let me show you <clears throat> like this there's a screw and you could just take a like a Phillips head screwdriver like that you can adjust it. You can't turn it too much, just slightly. It's, it's a little bit tight in there, but you could turn it a little bit, and it does. It definitely does help loosen it. Like 
loosen up the puzzle so it moves even smoother. So that's what I did. I actually popped all the caps. I just turned it just a little bit and it really made it move even better. So, but yeah, this is a great puzzle. It's really fun. And like I said, I'm going to do some tutorials throughout the weekend so that, you know, if you do want to get this puzzle or if you do get it, you know, it'll be easy for you to solve it. And it's not hard. It's not a hard puzzle. It's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward once you learn it. And uh, it's really fun, too. It's a really fun puzzle. And uh, I really like the colors on this. It's really bright and really nice. And it moves really well, too. So just want to do a little <clears throat> unboxing and review to show you what it's like. The, the different parts of it, the different aspects of it. Um, and like I said, the, the, the centers, you can't turn it. That's not how it works. It's just like... You pretty much solve it like a paraminx and then you do some extra moves and uh like i said it's pretty easy once you learn it, it it's pretty easy so um i'll have the information description below about this so yeah thank you for watching today this is the uh shang Shao or sang Shao crazy magic tower version 2 there's also, like I showed earlier, uh, version one. This is a really good one, too. This is a lot of fun. I've solved this one, you know, quite a few times. I don't know how many, maybe 15 or 20 times. It's really fun, too. So, you know, it's your choice if you ever want to get a different kind of puzzle and it's, you know, fun and interesting. These are good puzzles to get. So, yeah, it's uh, Friday here in Chicago. Have my McDonald's coffee, McCafe, and I am loving it. And there's plenty left. So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I will be happy to answer you. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.